So today we're making a video about how can MLB The Show be great again? And we want SDS to see this video. This is good constructive criticism. I want you guys to leave your guys' constructive criticism, but keep it clean, keep it good in the comments down below and be sure you guys like and subscribe, turn notifications on, and hopefully this video can reach out to SDS and make this game great again. So we're, I'm gonna talk with some of the hot topics first, and we're gonna talk about the XP reward path. Don't worry, we'll get into sets and seasons right after this, but the XP reward path, and to my opinion, is more important. And I'm talking about the daily XP cap. Needs to be gone, snip it, it's not good for anybody and i'll explain why Fifteen thousand xp per day is not a lot right but if you miss like a whole week or you miss a few days it just feels like you're getting left behind and that's for a casual player that works four or five six days a week eight hour days can only hop on during the weekends or a couple days three days a week and they can't get that xp back and that is a problem it makes people not want to play your game because they fall behind so fast they feel like they cannot catch up anymore so the best suggestion is the xp cap should be at least a week but i would recommend trying to find some type of number that can work bi-weekly or monthly because even content creators or casual players, they might take a week off. They might take a couple weeks off of playing video games, go out to the beach, go on vacation, go see their family, go out of state and not be around to play the game. So think about those type of people because those are a lot, a majority of the people that play the game are those type that take vacations that don't play every single day that might take longer vacations, four or five days a week or two weeks. And when they come back, everyone else is like 300, 400,000 XP above them. They come back they're like, oh my God, there's like 10 days left and I only have 200,000 XP. How am I gonna get to a million to get the bosses? They have no way of catching up. They have to do all the programs and they still can't catch up because there's a daily XP cap. Or at some point, get rid of the cap. Halfway, 30 days, 40 days throughout the season, once you guys start seeing in your guys' system that some people are unlocking those bosses, just get rid of the XP cap. If someone's already got the boss, it's possible to get the boss. So just make it possible for everyone and remove the cap at that point. If people are already getting the bosses, it does not matter. The rewind packs are not gonna kill the market anyways. Get rid of the cap later in the season. That's another solution that you can do. Once someone hits the million, then just open it up for everyone so they can gain that XP back. Or just enable a double XP for everybody with no XP cap for the rest of the season. But I think the logical solution is to have a weekly uh, XP cap or a bi-weekly XP cap or a monthly XP cap and you should be good and avoid those problems. You need to think of the casual players, even content creators take a week off and some content creators feel like they can't take any days off otherwise they're so far behind they can't catch up on the content to get those cards to make the content for those cards. So definitely Definitely need to adjust that. Next, we're gonna talk about sets and season. They had a chance to do sets and seasons correctly. They did not do it. They could have done it, but they did a terrible job at it. So just scrap it, get rid of it. I only wanna explain how you guys could have done it correctly. I've done it before, no one listened. So here's where we are, scrap it, go back to the inning program or go back to the regular XP program and a regular power creep. We don't wanna to go to 99s and go back to 89s. No one wants to do that. Some people might, I didn't care, but majority of people do not wanna do that. So guess what? I'm for the people, we don't wanna do that. Let's have a regular power creep. You start at 89, we get to 99 by the end of the year, but 99 shouldn't be happening at the World Series. We should get it before then because by the time the World Series comes, a lot of people might not be playing the game, they'll be moving on to other games. So we need those 99s to come earlier and then have an extended period of different types of 99s coming to the game. For instance, I know you guys don't wanna hear it, but Madden has content in July. When their game comes out in August, they still have new fresh content coming out in June and July when their next game releases in August. We should have fresh new content still coming out in January and February when the game releases in March and it's unexcusable that we have those dry spells of content throughout the year. And that's another thing with sets and seasons ever since it started, it seems like the content that we get, we get Team Infinity, we get a Battle Royale, we get a Ranked Seasons all in one day, and then we get nothing besides packs or like a season awards for two weeks, maybe even three weeks. And that's unacceptable. We need more content, we need more grindable content, and we need more content 
that is usable that people want to see. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's just take a look real quick. If we go to programs and we even go to this program that we just did, Larry Walker retro all-star game looks cool, but no one wants them. Why? 73 78 power he does have 100 clutch but his contact numbers are already good he doesn't fit any captain boost so you're stuck with a 73 and 78 power which isn't the greatest it can play but it's not the greatest and there's better options so why would we want to why would someone want to grind for this card other than the xp they don't i do this for the xp but like wouldn't it be cool like oh my god i need to grind this okay and then i just go you know what i'm gonna put this guy in my starting lineup and let's go play a ranked seasons game with him and debut him because he's so cool. No, no, I don't, I don't, no. Some people will probably debut him just to debut him because it's content and that's what, you know, a content creator is going to do. But think of the casuals. Like this card is not good enough. They're going to have someone else in the outfield that's better than this card. So there's no point of using them. And that has been the issue with a lot of different content this year. It just simply isn't usable. Uh, the Architects was okay because at least these cards fit the captain boost but still not the greatest cards, especially Mike Napoli. Not, do not like that card at all. Uh, the contact's way too low. Um, he's going to fit like the Devers boost, but that boosts power, not contact. I mean, he'll fit the Arenado boost, but that's a season one card, and this is a season two card, so then you have to use a wild card for Arenado. It's, no. If this is a season two card, then he should be good in season two. You could have made this guy good, you know, give him 90 ish contact, give him less like fielding. I'd rather have less fielding, less blocking, and have this card be a solid hitter, at least, as, and I can throw him in as a DA. That's, that's what I would want. Or first base, or like, you know, 83 durability. Put, put his durability to five for all I care. Another thing wrong with programs while we're here is we need more exciting, grindable programs that have a good reward at the end. The egg hunt program was a good reward especially for season one this is a type of card that you want to see in season one great card used it quite a bit at eh, 48 at bats used it enough at least by the time it came out that i enjoyed it condelario this is another i think good card that i enjoyed using online 77 at bats that's pretty good for me i don't play a lot of ranked seasons and stuff so i got two or even three usable cards because aaron bummer used him quite a bit as well so this was a good program. I used three of the cards in this program. We need car like programs like that. The extreme program is normally good every year. We haven't gotten it this year. I don't know where it's at. We haven't got the shark map yet. So hopefully those things are coming for MLB The Show this year. But those are the type of content that we should be seeing weekly. That type of grindable content for an enticing card that everyone wants to unlock and everyone wants to try out and rank seasons or wherever it may be that they want to play. Why we have the topic of ranked seasons, let's talk about game mode. They need to add other game modes. So like ranked seasons, I have friends, they don't they don't play ranked seasons. They hop on, all they play is co-op with their friends because they don't want to play a solo ranked seasons nine inning game. It just takes too long, especially when they don't have people to play with. So what they need to do, in my opinion, to fit that community, get some of those people that are on the edge of playing the game because they don't want to play nine inning games. Well, their argument like, well, why don't you just play BR or events? Well, the purpose of that is in ranked seasons, you bring your Diamond Dynasty squad to ranked seasons, that team that you grinded for, you grinded all those moments, you grinded all those programs, you grinded all that XP. Now you want to use those cards into ranked seasons, but you don't want to play nine inning games. Well, solution, five to six inning ranked seasons games, make it like a mini ranked seasons with different rewards, mini rewards. I don't know how they can do it, but just implement a game mode, a different game mode for that casual audience that does not want to play your simulation nine inning baseball game. On top of that, we see 2v2 co-op, 3v3 co-op, how about Battle Royale Co-op? I think that could be a very cool addition to MLB The Show. Battle Royale with your friends. Try to help your friends go flawless. You always go flawless. Now you can help your friends that have never went flawless before. Now you can help them go flawless. I think that could be a really cool addition to MLB The Show 25. Next, let's talk about Weekend League. I think Ranked Seasons needs that because... Those top players, those top 50, those top 100 players, they don't get the rewards that they deserve. And I think there needs to be a mode specifically for the top players. Even myself, I can hop in, I can get 15 wins, 10 wins, and get some decent rewards because I'm an above average player and I can hit that threshold. I think a weekend league would be good. Set at 10 or 15 wins would be the max. You'd go 15 and 0, 10 and 0. 
But if you go like 5 and 0, 6 and 0, 14 and 0, 13 and 0 or 13 and 2, if you lose two games, right? There's 15 games, 13 and 2. You can still get very good rewards for your skill level and you won't have and it'd be separate from actual rank seasons because in rank seasons the only thing you're going for in rank seasons right now is that world series reward but that world series reward is very very cheap because it's inside the program so once you unlock the program world series reward that reward is not worth much so we think of mario rivera he's only thirty thousand stubs and then if you get to a thousand rating you get an icon in 10,000 stubs, and that's just not worth it. You should get at least 100,000 stubs here. 1,100, you should get 150,000 stubs. And 1,200, you should get 200,000 stubs at the very least. If they, they made those two, those three additions right there, I think grinding for 1,000 rating, 1,100 rating, and 1,200 rating, more people would play Legend difficulty if those were the rewards for 1100 and 1000. 900, I think, should be 50,000 uh, stubs. See, I'm adding a zero to it. You know, 800, 30,000 stubs. Why not get people to play rank seasons more? And that's how you do it. Just add a zero to every one of these rewards, and people will play the game mode a lot, lot more. And then you add the addition to Weekend Link and more rewards. And I think that'll also get people to play ranked seasons because they want to practice for weekend league and ranked seasons would be the best way to practice for weekend league. And when it comes to collections, we're missing so much. Our core card collection is not here because battle royale cards are now season cards. So like we're missing a lot of opportunities with collections. Uh, I didn't like the live series collection. There wasn't like a like extra reward for completing the NL or like the different divisions. It, it, it was just so weird. There wasn't enough reward for collections this year in my opinion. Speaking of something that we need more of, we need more captains and, and we need to elaborate on the type of things that we can do with captain for instance we need team affinity captains we always have team affinity but where's our team affinity captain also let's say we have Shohei otani Shohei otani played for the angels and he played for the dodgers make it to where we can put Shohei otani on the angels or on a dodgers theme team and get the boost we need that type of utility and capability for mlb the show and if we had that There'd be so much more possibilities with team captains that it would make it really, really fun and make lineup diversity so much better than what it is right now. So think about captains. If you guys need any suggestions, you guys can reach out to me. I can give you plenty of suggestions on different type of captains that you guys can go for. We can have first baseman captains. We have second baseman captains. We have third position, like basically position captain. We could have like division captains, AL East captain, AL West captain, stuff like that could be added to MLB The Show just to create more diversity in lineups. If you guys can make those captains usable and have good boosts to make lineups more diverse because if the captain has terrible boosts, no one's going to use them anyways. But if it makes it, a, a decent squad into a god squad people are going to use that captain and it's going to make it more diverse you're going to see a lot more lineup diversity and it's going to make the game more fun because we're not playing with the same team we're not playing against the same teams all the time like we were at the end of season one with the carlos santana boost and that's all i have for today's video if you guys have anything else or if i think of anything else i'll make another video but drop your guys' suggestions down below in the comments be sure you guys like subscribe for new turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out on the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed this one hopefully it might be the show can be great again and i'll see you guys in the next one